it's my season. It's also a crazy time too because it's season whereas um, most of the artists would travel, you know, somewhat. And so we have to factor in the, you know, the recordings for this year, for the season as well. And so it's kind of it's exciting, but at the same time, it's tiring. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's what we're accustomed to doing. And so it's pretty much, you know, tense and uptight and fun. Well, I'm almost done, you know. Um, whenever you're getting real close to the finish line, you know, you have hiccups and stuff like that. And so we're now in the tweaking stage. Um, so, so far, so good. I'm so happy. I was very clever in selecting my, my pieces. And so for that, I think that all of my pieces are really, really nice. And, um, you know, a lot of people will appreciate them. So I don't have a favorite. I have like five songs in total. So all of them are my favorite. Because I mean, they just lean on, you know, different feel and taste. I mean, before, I would normally record with a band, and so, you know, you'd have like 12, 13, 14 tracks. But um, seeing that it's, you know, now CP, I am basically trying to, to, do, to limit the amount for marketing purposes. <laughs> okay, well, normally I'd prefer, um, record with a band, and so you'd normally have... 12, 13, 14 songs, but seeing that it's CP rather than doing, you know, a whole, you know, pile of songs and, you know, some get sipped to the crack, I decided for marketing purposes that I would do at least five songs that I really, really love, you know, that people can relate to so it'd be easy to market. No, because, I mean, the selection of my songs, the songs, it, it's, it's, it's pretty much um, tasteful and so I'm able to be flexible. I mean, every year is a different year, it's a different feel, you know, music has been changing, you know, I mean, even rhythms and stuff like that. And so, I mean, you just take it as it comes. I don't try to look back because at the end of the day, looking back is just a step back and you don't want to. So you just go with the flow. For me, it's just going with the flow, riding the, ra the wave and, you know, feeling good about it. CP is just going to go all out, doing her thing, making, her, making sure her fans enjoy the music, making sure they have their bubbly spirits as usual during carnival, you know, at the shows because, you know, people love CP and, um, you know, I kind of have a, a love for carnival as well. Whenever it comes around, I get so bubbly and, you know, as we would say, hotty hotty. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't have that down in the year, you know, so it's just a special spark that I get that I look forward to every year. Mindset alone is crazy, you know, uh, prepare, preparing. I mean, you have to think about the song that you're doing. You have to think about um, the theme you're going with and how you're gonna, if you're gonna have props and lightings and all of that. And I mean, mentally, it's crazy. I mean, it's competition, you have to get into that mode. So I mean, all in all, it's just a bundle of, bundle of confusion, it's a bundle of nerve. Um, I mean, breaking it down is just gonna be so lengthy. So I mean, it's just, it's all fun. Before every performance, I always, you know, kneel down and then have my moment with, you know, the Lord because at the end of the day, he's the one who gave me my talent and, you know, the energy. Because, I mean, a lot of times, you never even know artists would be really, really ill and they still have to go out there and perform and you're there enjoying themselves and by the time they come off stage, they're like, oh my gosh, all I want to do is just go home. And so you just have to give him the praise and just ask him for, the, for health and strength that you're able to go there and give them, you know, everything. Although you're not feeling, or even if you're feeling, that's just give you that extra oomph. And so that is basically what I do. I mean, it has to be, it's something that I love doing, you know, just to see the smile on the people's face, you know. Um, it, it, it fills me. And so, I mean, because sometimes you probably see somebody doing, but at the end of the day, how many other, you know, smiles are you gonna see? And you have to separate that and make sure, and even if you see the, you know, the rough face, it means, okay, well, CP, you're gonna have to step it up because this person is not enjoying it. So it gives you that extra push to try and make sure, yes, you could overdo at times, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure that even if they're not there for you, you make sure that they enjoy themselves. They'd be like, okay, well, you know what? I wasn't really there for Hannah, but 
she put down a darn good show. And this is basically what I want to see whenever I go out to perform, and that's what gives me the oomph to go out there.